I got given this old box the other day as someone was going to chuck it out and they said, do you think I could do anything with it? And I said, well, do you know what? I don't know. Let me have a go. It's a little bit warped here, but we're going to have to live with that because I'm not going to do anything to stretch that out. And it's not in great condition. You can normally pick these things up really cheaply at yard sales or car boot sales or like me get given them. Uh, it has been kind of stripped off a little bit, which is not a problem because I want to strip it right the way down. And the inside is full of a thick varnish that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get rid of any other way other than sanding it. So I'm going to sand it down using this sander and some quite high grits and then I'll come back and see what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to use it and how I'm going to upcycle it into something beautiful. Well, I've taken this side off because it is a little bit split in places and also I don't want these indented hinges here at the moment. I've never seen a box with so many nails put in it to keep it together and glue. So all I'm going to do is take all these nails out and then on this side, I'll fill those holes with something before I finish it off. And then I'm going to replace it just using a little bit of MDF cut down to the same size as this. Glue that in place and I'm not going to bother with any nails. I don't think I need to. Okay, I've got my bit cut now. It is slightly thicker than the piece that I took off, but I don't mind because I can sand that down a little bit once it's on there. I'm using some good old wood glue, putting it on the edges and all around here. I don't mind if it bursts out because I shall wipe it up. And that should be enough to hold that in place. I'm going to put some clamps on it at each end. And I'm also going to put some clamps on it here to clamp this down. Well, the box is much cleaner now than it was, but I still got these indents. Now, I don't want to replace these two sides as well, because if not, I might as well made a whole new box. So what I'm using is just a bit of lolly stick that I've cut down. Unfortunately, it is the right thickness, and I'll glue those in using a bit of wood glue, and then give them a bit of a sand down once they're lovely and dry. I don't think I'm going to need a clamp on that, because I've cut them so they're very, very tight. And this, I find, is a really easy way. I mean, it isn't how I would do it if I was going to have a perfect finish on the outside of the box, because that just wouldn't look nice. But I'm not looking for a perfect finish on the outside of this box. And I'll show you why once I get to finishing it. But it looks much cleaner now all the way around. And it's got rid of all that nasty, sticky ook. I've decided to take these corners out as they weren't really a nice shape. And I didn't like them. And I'm going to replace them with this dowel. I've not taken the bottom bits out because they're going to be quite handy so things don't like get caught in the corners of the box. So I'm going to leave those in and all I'm going to do is glue those in there like that. So I've now got this all sorted out. These bits are glued in and the lid is all finished and that has worked really well. I am, like I said, going to leave that bit in. Now what I need to do is put some of these wooden dowels in here ready and glue these in ready for when I want to put a tray in here because I want to split this box up into two sections so I'm going to have a tray in there and all I'm going to do is make that tray out of some MDF that I've got this should just glue on here really easily it shouldn't take long to dry and I'm going to clamp that on to ensure that that is in the right position. And obviously I'm going to put one of these each side as well. Now this is all finished and ready to be put together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little partition in here, which I'll show you in a minute. But I also need to fill a lot of these holes. Now the best way I find to do that is I've got the sawdust from where I've cut this. All I'll do is put some in a pot like that. Add some wood glue to it until it's like a paste. Because this isn't going to be varnished at the end, it's going to be covered. It doesn't matter if it's a slightly different colour, but you'll find that this will really dry in there, lovely and hard. You can screw into it, you can add anything you want to it, but it will give a nice smooth finish. Run over a little bit with a sandpaper, and then you're good to go. Ob's your uncle, vanish your aunt, and it's all done. And to be able to put this into the holes, all I do is take that like that, get a bit on my finger like that, push it into the glue, dip my finger into some water, and then wipe off any excess. That's all dry now, and I've also put in the little divider. Have you guessed what I'm going to be using this for yet? Oh, I... I can't wait to get it going and use it. So I've got a little divider in there. And I've also now got my little slidey thing that I've painted. 
And all I've used to paint that is the Arteza iridescent paints. I love iridescent colours. Now what I'm going to do is paint this box. And I've sanded this down so it should give a nice smooth finish where I filled all those holes in. I'm going to paint this in an electric plum purple. Look at that beautiful colour. And that'll also have the iridescence in it. It'll probably need two coats on it to fully cover and that's fine if i did a primer on it that would have probably covered a lot easier but i couldn't be bothered and then the inside of the box i'm also going to do a nice iridescent color but that one is going to be fancy black but i've got something special i'm going to do on the lid which i'll show you in a sec well everything's now painted and it's ready to be finished off i love the way this has come out with the shine on the inside and the way that that purple looks to me i love it and the game with the lid for the lid i'm going to add this to it i got these napkins i was going to do a bit of a hangover each side but do you know what i don't want to i've decided not to so how i'm going to do it is I want those two fairly central and I'm going to put that on there. Now I've overlapped here so if I don't get it as neat as I want it then I don't have to worry too much. I'm going to cut it down as well to ensure that I've got to get rid of some of this extra that's on here. And then I can trim it up as and when I put it on the box. That's not too much of a problem. So I've got that trimmed up now to mm, nearly the size I want. What I'm going to do first is add my glue to this. Now I don't want it too wet. And all I've got here is normal school glue or PVA glue. Making sure I cover it all the way over. Now, I'm no expert in decoupage. But I don't particularly like the Mod Podge for it. Just personal preference. So I like to use this. Let's get rid of any of these little bristles that have come out of this brush. And little hairs because they will show. Make sure I've got right to all the edges. Get my piece of cloth here. And I want to fold that up. And if I mess it up, I've got another 10 of these napkins. So I'm quite happy with that. If I can help it, I want to avoid having creases in it. So that's on there now. What I'm going to do is just go over it lightly with my little roller here to ensure that that's well stuck onto there. I don't want to brush on that yet because what I don't want to do is rip it because I know how heavy handed I am. I am loving that lid. And now that's on there, what I'm doing is giving a light brush over with this same PVA glue mixture. And it's just PVA glue, 50 50, 50 PVA, 50 water. And if it goes crinkly, I really don't mind because it just adds a bit of interest and texture to the actual box itself. But it doesn't normally dry too crinkly. I do love that picture. And now I'm going to leave that to dry. And while that's drying, all I'm going to do is add onto the front here this little jewellery tools sign that I made. I'm going to put that there, which is roughly in the middle. Everything I do is by eye. I just wanted it to have something on there rather than just be plain. And I think that looks quite nice like that. Jewellery tools. And now what I'm going to do is varnish this with probably a satin varnish. And I keep all my varnishes now because I'm fed up with the tin lids getting all manky in empty sauce bottles. This was a tip recommended to me by one of my members from my other group. So thank you very much. And it works really well. I'll put it together. I'll show you what it all looks like. It's all finished now, all lovely and dry. I'm very pleased with the way it's come out. I've put corner bits on as well, because I like them and I had them. And a nice clasp and a handle here as well. Look at that. So I can carry it around with me, look. Yeah! And then inside, I've got my nice little slidey thing so I can move that around and get to the bits that I want. That was really easy to make. And I've got pots in there with different size jump rings, hooks, push bales, earring backs, all the things that I really use quite a lot. And they're in just little pots that just come undone. They're easy to get hold of rather than me having to always find them. They're my tools. And here I've got a little bit for miscellaneous. So my little drill, lots of bezels and earring and backings and some hooks. And again, some other bits and pieces. I am so pleased with this. Happy that I can keep everything now together and move it around. I like to have my hinges exposed. That's why I filled in those bits at the back rather than hiding them. And I like that this is on here as well. And it's quite a nice strong clasp. I couldn't have it the other way because of the fact that this is too big here to go on this bit of the box. But I don't mind it that way around. I like it. And a nice robust handle. Cost me probably about £7 in total to make, including buying the handle 
and getting all the other bits and pieces and the box nothing cost me nothing but i think it's well upcycled and it now has a purpose and it isn't going in the bin i love it let me know in the comments what you think i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed this video bit different to what I normally do. <laughs> Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the video that I've got coming up next, which actually is another box up cycle if you want to check that out. I like these, and I like doing them now and again. It's just fun. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.